A Central Arkansas family is pleading for change tonight after their loved one was hit and killed near a popular crossing in Hot Springs. Jason Gibbons was struck near the Oaklawn Casino Resort in December. His family says more needs to be done to make that area safer for people walking along or crossing the street. Jessica Rank joining us now live near Oaklawn. And Jessica, if you've driven by that area or if you've walked along or crossed the street there, you know it is a very tricky space. Yeah, Bob and Laura, I mean, you guys will remember if you guys have been to Oaklawn, it's right on Highway 7, so you already have cars that are going a little faster than those residential areas or really even downtown Hot Springs. Now you add that on top of a race day where you have thousands of people coming in and out of Oaklawn crossing this street and it becomes a recipe for disaster. Drive down Highway 7 in Hot Springs and you can't miss it. The big sign, casino, and the sound of a few lucky winners. It was a typical weekend getaway for the Givens family. Being at the track, watching the horses, and being at the casino. December 18th was no different. Reese Givens was at Oaklawn with her dad and a few friends enjoying the first few hours of winter break. It was just a really, it was a really good day until it kind of wasn't. Like a sudden stoplight, the day came to a halt. We knew that whoever it was wasn't going to survive. Reese was waiting for her dad at the bar across the street when traffic stopped and ambulances rushed in. Her father, Jason Givens, was hit and killed while crossing the street. I instantly just kind of fell to my, I fell to my knees and just started screaming. Since 2015, RDOT has recorded 17 non-motorist related accidents on this stretch of Highway 7. A family says that's 17 too many. If we can put a man on the moon, uh, there's something that can be done there. The family is now petitioning for a sky bridge or a tunnel, building a safer path for pedestrians. It's just been hard to, um, find anything positive uh, and this is the only thing. As the days go on, more will walk this same path. This family is hoping with a few changes, a day at the races won't end in the dark. It means to me like my dad's life, like I am fighting for this so that no one else has to lose their dad or a family or friend. This is kind of what the crossing situation looks like. There's not really a light. You just have to press that button and hope that those cars stop for you. Now, because this is a state highway, if you're asking for things like a sky bridge or a tunnel that goes to our dot. We did reach out to them. They said they are aware of the safety issues and concerns here at this crosswalk and are looking into ways to make it safer. Of course, they did release a statement to us and you can read that on our website, kark.com. Live in Hot Springs, I'm Jessica Rank. Back to you.